The number of euthanized animals could be reduced dramatically. If more people adopted pets instead of buying them. When you adopt, you save a loving animal by making them part of your family. And open up shelter space for another animal who might desperately need it. And get a new best friend out of the deal. Seriously, what could be better than that? This year, the AKC reported that corgis have soared into the 10th position for the most popular dog breed in the US. This sudden uptick in popularity is largely attributed to their growing fame on social media, TV, and some even speculate that Queen Elizabeth has also played a part in this corgi movement. As responsible corgi owners and passionate advocates for the breed, it is our duty to break these stereotypes and educate future corgi owners about the breed. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Liking and sharing our content helps massively with the growth of our channel. So it's very much appreciated. 1. Corgis are prone to health problems. They are not known for being a healthy breed. From spine problems to skin allergies, corgis are prone to a variety of health problems. Although most of their common health problems are manageable and non-life-threatening, they can be difficult for some corgi owners to manage if they are not financially well off. Just to give you an example, hip dysplasia is a very common condition that many corgis develop. In severe cases of hip dysplasia, complete hip reconstructions can cost some corgi owners upwards of $10,000. This is one of the many reasons why we recommend that corgi owners invest in some form of pet health insurance as soon as possible. 2. They are vocal and bark. These aren't the best apartment dogs for many reasons. But one reason, in particular, is their eardrum piercing barks. Corgis are known for being highly communicative, so they bark at just about everything. If you live next to noise-sensitive neighbors and you have a talkative corgi, it can certainly lead to trouble if you aren't careful. 3. They are not couch potatoes. The internet does a good job of depicting these dogs as lazy couch potatoes. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Going back to genetics, corgis were bred to work fields all day long, hurting livestock. A dog with pent-up energy tends to develop destructive tendencies, bark, and be downright disobedient. 4. Corgis are incredible smart. Most corgis learn new behaviors easily, which means it won't be hard to teach them to sit, stay, and come when called. Unfortunately, they will also learn bad habits equally as quickly. Corgis are very independent dogs and they think for themselves. Just because they understand what you want them to do, that doesn't mean that they will be obedient and do it. 5. They will nip and herd. The nipping tendencies of corgis make them less than suitable companion dogs around small children, specifically toddlers. They will herd small children around and nip at their ankles. This behavior is hard to avoid, but it may be possible to suppress this instinct with the proper obedience training and socialization. Keep in mind that it's nearly impossible to completely out-train this instinct entirely. 6. They shed a lot. Words cannot describe the amount of hair that comes off of these dogs. Unlike some dog breeds, corgis shed year-round. Their shedding tends to increase during seasonal changes, but they have a hefty amount of hair output all year long. Their double coat comes in handy for keeping their skin protected and helping them manage their body temperature, but it is constantly adjusting its thickness to adapt to their environment. I would not recommend corgis for people who aren't prepared for the constant vacuuming, lint rolling, and brushing that is required to maintain a clean home. 7. They require a strict diet. If given the opportunity, corgis will literally eat themselves to death. Therefore, they should never be free-fed. They are highly prone to becoming overweight due to their genetic tendencies for bad backs. Managing your corgi's weight is extremely important. Overweight corgis are significantly more likely to suffer from chronic back, joint, and hip problems that already prevalent in the breed. 8. They are expensive. Purebred corgis are expensive, due to the rising demand. Breeders are charging more and more for their dogs. Like I said before, corgis are prone to several genetic problems, some of which are life-altering. Reputable breeders will test their dogs for these genetic dispositions to ensure their puppies will not develop these problems. 
These tests are costly and contribute to the overall cost of the dog. 9. They are not good for two-story homes. Their short legs and vulnerable backs pose some unique challenges for two-story homes. It might be tempting to throw a ball up or down some stairs to help exercise your corgi. But this might actually be doing more harm than good. Even the fittest, healthiest corgis are susceptible to joint problems. And living in a home with stairs only makes those odds worse. 10. Corgis are bossy. Bossy is honestly an understatement. Corgis are stubborn and smart. They are incessant boundary pushers who will work to get exactly what they want. This means that if you are eating your dinner, they will stare at you endlessly. And even bump your legs or bark to try and get some food. If they want your attention, they will force their way onto your lap and roll around. Demanding that you pet them or give them the attention that they desire. If given the opportunity, they will use their cuteness. To their benefit and take advantage of you. In general, if you are doing something they don't like. Or have something they want, they will let you know.